Assalamualaikum and welcome back to another video by Sir Shazwan uh, Today we'll be looking at the third unit for this uh, course which is Topic, Stated Main Idea and Implied Main Idea Those are the most important things in uh, reading because you need to be able to understand the topic The Stated Main Idea, whatever the, the, the author mentioned directly in the text as well as whatever the, uh, the author implied in the text given so those three are interrelated but at the same time they are very different so let's look at it right by the end of this chapter you should be able to identify the topic of paragraph meaning that whatever the paragraph is talking about you should be able to identify it based on the topic and then you will be able to identify the stated main idea of the paragraph which is very explicitly available explicitly available in the uh, paragraph okay. and then we are able to identify the implied main idea of a paragraph these two things make up the bulk of the paragraph so it is uh, in the best favor for you to be able to understand these three things okay especially when you are doing critical reading now a topic is the general subject of reading passage or text it is usually written using a word, phrase, or name in each paragraph. So, the topic is generally is available in the text given. Okay? So, you won't be having problem finding out about the topic unless it's not stated. But usually, it is stated clearly in the paragraph. Okay? So, identifying the topic helps readers to understand what the paragraph is all about. Meaning that if you understand what it's talking about, while well, this uh, mentioned the topic, so you know the paragraph is talking about that topic. They are explaining more on the topic given. And after identifying the topic, the reader should be able to locate the author's main idea in each paragraph of the text. Because the main ideas talk about the topic, which is uh, is given in the paragraph. So, uh, the stated main idea, which is written in a sentence, is the most important point of the topic while the implied main idea is not clearly or directly stated in one sentence in a paragraph. Those two, they have the difference like that. So, a stated main idea is clearly in the paragraph given, whereas the implied main idea is one that you have to assume or you have to find out on your own. Okay? Right. How to identify the topic of a paragraph? So each paragraph contains a topic. If there is a one paragraph uh, writing, that's a short reading text which contains one paragraph, then there will always be a topic. But when there are um, one or whole like a journal or article, they have a big main topic that consists that every paragraph talks about the topic. Okay. Identify the topics set the stage for further in-depth comprehension of the reading text meaning that you can uh, whenever you read the topic your background knowledge will be activated you will be able to identify what comes after in the reading text when you understand the topic so some of the how to determine the topics is by looking at the title of a passage then the various pins that are available, maybe the words are in boldface, maybe the words are in italics, so, or maybe the words are being repeated constantly in the paragraph. So those are how you can identify the topics for the paragraph. Okay. Let's look at it, uh, an example here. So, so you see this paragraph has a title here, debate over gun control in the US, meaning that this whole paragraph talks about the title. The title contains the topic itself. So, the topic is gun control. It's very simple. It is available in the title. That title explains what the paragraph is about. Okay? Next, this one. So, you see, there are some words that have been done in different prints. For example, there are bows. They are like italics. Yeah, like underscore or those kinds of things you need to uh this can be used as well as how to uh, as an indicator for you to determine the topic of the 
uh, paragraph. So for example, this one, you see the words diabetes is bold. So it means that the focus is on the word diabetes. So you can say that the topic is about diabetes. So certain uh, reading texts or articles, they will use various means. For example, uh, like I said, bolded, italics, all those kinds of things. Uh, so that uh, the reader will be able to understand this is what the paragraph is about. Okay? Next one, this one is another thing. Another indicator that you can use. You can see that the word homeschooling here. The first one, the, sec the first sentence, second sentence, and the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. So those uh, words have been used constantly, meaning it has been used repetitively, uh, repetitively, even though it's not in the form of in the same form. For example, homeschooling, homeschool, homeschooled. So you can see that when they use the repeated words, it means that the article or the text or the paragraph focus on that uh, word, meaning that the topic here is homeschooling. Okay, so you see, they talk about the homeschooling in the first uh, sentence, second sentence, homeschool, and then homeschooling, those kinds of things shows that, okay, the paragraph talks about homeschooling. So you can understand that is the topic there. Okay. <clears throat> right, identify the stated main idea of a paragraph. So you have the topic, you identify the topic with bit, uh, like uh, by using the title. Or maybe you can use the the words in the various prints or maybe you use re uh, recurring words so you have found the topic so now you can identify the main idea stated main idea <clears throat> you are ready now to locate the stated main idea after getting the topic right the stated main idea is a complete sentence that describes the author's overall purpose for writing the paragraph why the reason uh, the author wants to tell about the topic so that is the stated main idea <clears throat> the readers can locate the stated main idea in different places within a paragraph it can be at the beginning in the middle or at the end of the paragraph usually will be uh, will be at the beginning or what we call it as topic sentence okay when you read that okay you understand that is the stated main idea okay more often than not Readers seem to only focus on the details of the paragraph and inevitably you overlook the large picture. Okay? Sometimes you might just focus on the second sentences which contains the details, but you forgot to read the first sentence, which is the overall meaning of the whole paragraph. Okay? Then when they ask for the main idea, if you've done that, they usually respond with a what word answer, topic answer, instead of an idea, a complete thought of a sentence about the paragraph. When you want, you give one topic answer, a one word topic answers, instead of the idea there, you are talking about the topic rather than you're talking about the stated main idea. It's very different, okay? A topic is only like one, two words. Like for example, gun control, diabetes, homeschooling, but when you want to talk about a stated main idea, it comes in a complete sentence. Okay? Right. For this sample, you have a title here. Debate over the gun control in the US. Okay, you have the paragraph here. So, as I mentioned earlier, the stated main idea is usually in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. For this one, it is in the beginning. So, the stated main idea for this paragraph is the debate over gun control in the United States has been a topic of contention for the past 10 years. So, that is the stated main idea for this paragraph. Okay? You can see that whenever a paragraph starts with something like this, the whole sentence in the first sentence is always the stated main idea. So, that will be a tip for you to remember whenever you are doing critical reading. Right. So, the stated main idea for the paragraph is the debate over gun control in the United States has been a topic of contention for the past 10 years. Okay? Right. What about the implied main idea? It is different from the stated main idea because stated means that it is directly available. You can read it. That is the uh, stated main idea. But for implied main idea, it means that it is something that is the author 
implied. It's not that they are focusing more on that, but they tell it in the form of uh, supporting details, which might not be clear for others that the author trying to say that thing. Okay, we look at an example, and then you are able to understand what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so it is not clearly or directly stated in any one sentence in a paragraph. So as discussed earlier, it is only suggested or inferred by the author. So the author mentioned that this happened, that happens, those happen. So you need to be able to summarize what the author said, and that will be the implied main idea. When you summarize, it must be in a full sentence as well. Okay. So you have to read the entire paragraph and examine individual details to see how they relate to the common thread. Right. So you have to formulate the implied idea, meaning that you have to come up with the implied main idea yourself. So you have to reread and summarize the gist of the paragraph so that it will be able to help you in identifying or coming up with the implied main idea. All right. So furthermore, the implied main idea must be written in a single sentence and should only contain the author's most significant point. Meaning that the whole thing that the author said, apart from the implied main idea, uh, the stated main idea, will be what the implied main idea is about. Okay, let's look at the example here. Okay, for this uh, we use the same uh, uh, paragraph. So you have the topic, which is the debate over gun control in the U.S., and then you have the stated main idea, which is the debate over gun control until past ten years. So that is the stated main idea. Okay. Now, when you want to find the implied main idea, you have to summarize from the word the killing of twenty school children until federal licenses dealer. So that is the implied main idea. So you have to summarize those. So then you will be able to come up with one sentence which contains the implied main idea, meaning that the author is not going to uh, directly tell you about it. But it is what you can assume from what the author is saying. Okay, so this one, the implied main idea for this is the sales of guns must be closely monitored to prevent the arbitrary and senseless loss of innocent lives. So that means that he shows um, that whatever the author talks, it is summarized into one paragraph, uh, one sentence like this. Okay, all right. You should be able to understand because it is simple. So look, let's look at another example. Okay. So this one, we guess the topic is diabetes, and then the first sentence should be the stated main idea. So when you want to talk about the implied main idea, you talk about the problem until the disease. So those can be summarized into one single word, a one single sentence, which is. Diabetes is a life-threatening disease that must be taken seriously. How did they come up with that? They summarize the paragraph that we have here. So you talk about the problems, you see that whatever this is, you try to summarize and come up with one sentence that will be able to uh, generalize what they said. Make it like a simple explanation of what the author trying to say okay, rather than what the author have said. Okay? So doing practices on this will be able to help you get more information on how you can find out about the implied main idea. Okay. Yes, and then it is at the conclusion. In a reading passage or text, the topic, stated main idea and implied main idea are closely related. The stated main idea can be found directly in the paragraph and comes in the form of a complete sentence. It might appear at the beginning, at the end, or not in the middle. Okay. Lastly, the implied main idea is what the author is just suggesting without stating it explicitly. So, it is up to you how do you formulate your own sentences to express the author's main point. So, that's it for this lesson. So, I hope that you will be able to understand what is the topic, what is the stated main idea, and what is the implied main idea, as well as how to identify those things. It is very uh, important for you to remember that this is what made up the part of uh, reading. So, if you are able to understand, identify those things, then you are on the road for developing your critical reading skills, which will be able to help you 
in the future. Thank you very much for listening to me. My name is Sir Shalwat and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.